What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ridge Rob from Ridge Rob Rides. Do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed right now, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button at the end of this video and feel free to share it with your friends. Leave a comment whether you like it, hate it, or anything in between. Really appreciate that. And also, for some of you guys who've been reaching out, you can find me on Instagram under Rigid Rob Rides. Rigid underscore Rob underscore Rides on Instagram. That's where you can find me. Anyway, Sorry it's been a minute. I know I haven't really been on here as much. Well, that's just because I've been crazy working. I just got back from vacation. And this bad boy, I had to do a lot of work off camera to actually get it where we need to be at. So sorry I didn't film that. Just sometimes I have something crazy that's going to happen soon. But I'm going to save that for another day. I'm going to share it with you when it does go down. You know, it's already kind of in the works. So that'll probably be one of the next videos coming through after so let's get into it all right guys most of y'all know this is my 2007 triumph thruxton 900 uh i've been working on it trying to get it going we're doing the seat that's the only thing that's not original on there as you can tell i've done little stuff to it i've done a lot of stuff to it but i got a really big surprise for y'all guys i know many of y'all have been waiting to see what would happen and let me just show you something that i've been working on perhaps this might give us a little bit better understanding i want you to take a look the motor if you can. I'm going to place y'all down for just a second. And then, in that regard, let me show you. There you go, guys. All the out-camera work. I got it running. Not in. Front out both cylinders. Right now, I don't have fuel. Here's something for you guys. Like I explained, I don't know if you could hear me or not. I got it running. She's alive. I took a couple of days off camera, actually a week, just to kind of narrow down, see what was the problem. And I decided just to hammer it out, try to get it running for you guys, get it running for myself more than anything, because I got some plans going on with it, which like I said, I'm gonna share in a future video. You guys will learn a little bit about it. But just so you know, what I did do off camera that I didn't record, I changed the pickup coil, which is right in there. Yeah, had to put a new gasket and all, did all that. While we were at it, as you can tell, I had a video of where I did an airbox remove and replace that I finally just went ahead and did the airbox delete to get it over and done with. I just thought it was cleaner, nicer look. I have a few, I have a few things I still, I have a few things I still have to do, which I want to get done for it, you know. So that's next on the the horizon, but that's just gonna be for like later videos or just. Something big that I have to share in the process. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I want to share that with you guys because I think y'all guys will like it. And then plus, when I do it, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. So it won't really be in the dark about certain things, which is what I try to do most times. I try to show y'all do it. But yeah, like this, I told you, I did the airbox delete. I finally went through with it. I found this uh, British Customs online. It was actually on eBay. Somebody was selling it for $125. I said, why not jump on it? It was a uh, Bonneville. Yeah, it was a Bonneville 900. Same year. I have a Thruxton and they had a Bonneville. I just bought it. I said, screw it. We'll make it work if it doesn't. Sure enough, it lined up. It did everything it had to do. So now you can see it's a very clean look. Like I said, so I did that. I got it up and running. I've already, I have videos where I replaced the master cylinders. So you guys got to see that. You can hear it. Uh, I just have to get the carbs dialed in and sync. That's what I was trying to do before I left on vacation. But I didn't get to do that, and I don't have a buddy who's coming over who's going to help me do that, dial it all in, that kind of stuff. So overall, I'm actually kind of pleased with the way it is. It looks really gnarly, just a couple little things, and we have to work on to get it to that level. That's exactly what we're waiting on, just that. Um, but yeah, there she is, running and all. Um, I'm sure if you guys like it, please leave in the comments, tell me what y'all think about it. You know, any input is great input in my eyes. I take everything y'all guys write on there. I read it. I hit the like button on everything. That way y'all know that's me and not a bot, right? But yeah, overall, I'm very impressed. I like the way it looks. I like the way it came out. Uh, I wanted to share that with y'all. 
I'm gonna hope that this video drops by Friday. So this way y'all guys can see it, get you into the weekend. Not that it's gonna change your life, but y'all get it, <laughs> right? But overall, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I think we have ourselves a great bike to start with in any direction. The tires, like I said, I did those off camera. I had uh, a shop do those on for me and I just did all the mechanical work to get it up and running. It will need new front fork seals. It's gonna need a whole new paint job, honestly. And replacement of the shocks, which I found online, which I would like to go with, but we'll save that for a later date. Like I said, there's gonna be a, something interesting coming through the through our channel here and let everybody know this is where you wanna see it. So share it, comment, tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your wife, tell your husband, tell your kids. They're watching YouTube here, everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. I just think that video is so funny. It's gone viral and I know why, because it's hilarious. But overall, so guys, I just want to leave you with this. The bike is running. We just got a couple of things that we have to do. I can hopefully bring you some more Trime content, which is what we got to do. And then I got a few other things coming down. I have the Dyna. I have a little bit of moto vlogs that are going to come out. I know it's really weird. I don't, I don't know how you guys are. If y'all like the moto vlogs or not. I've realized I don't do so great with them and it's probably just because my personality's not into it. That's probably what it is. When we're here, I just share whatever I do when I talk to y'all guys. But overall, if y'all have any questions or anything like that, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. If there's anything you'd like to change, if you want to see me release videos more and more frequently, please put that down there too. Because, you know, it helps. Anything helps this channel. My goal is hopefully by the end of this year for it to grow like a substantial amount. And that's where I want to get. So anyway, I'm going to just leave you guys here. I want to say, hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you got to hear the bike turn on. Really awesome. Really great. If y'all haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe, hit the like. Turn your bell on for notifications up there in the corner. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.